Pew, pew, pew. Hi Darkroom friends, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to be talking about uh, barcodes, but actually we're going to be looking at a kind of a new feature. Look right here, I have a piece of hardware attached to this camera. And what this allows me to do is use my phone to scan a barcode and then it adds a code to, in this situation, in this camera, it's going to add it to the copyright uh, field on the EXIF information. And then whenever I copy those images into Darkroom Core, I can then search by scanning that barcode and pull up those images. This is going to work very well for school photographers or let's say amusement park photographers that uh, you have a barcode that you can then hand somebody or in this situation we are using an order form with a barcode on it. So let's jump right in and see it in action. Let me see. Uh, what we're going to do is I have the the device is called Intagged by Philography and I have the Intagged app on my phone right here. What I'm going to do is just use my phone to scan that barcode and now every image I capture is then tagged with that code until I come across the next kid and use my phone once again. And I'm gonna allow you to see how this works. Let's see if we can all both see it at the same time. There it goes, it's gonna scan it. And now it's currently saved. Last numbers are 3242. Two. And now I can take pictures of the next kid and then move on and on like that. So let's jump into my computer and see what it would look like from the darkroom end. Here we are in darkroom core. I have a, uh, a school here and I am going to copy a couple images that I shot a little bit earlier. I'm going to just drag them in. And I have those images. Um, and now if I use my little scanner, I'm not sure which image. Three of the images were using one barcode and then the other three were the other. I'm going to hit F2, scan, and you can see it pulled up that image. Let's go to the next kid. We'll do F2 and then scan again. You can see it moved on to that kid, which are both me, but in that situation, it'd make it a lot easier for you to find. The order name would be filled out. Let's say Jenny Jones and I scan it and I am looking at Jenny Jones or, uh, pictures. So there are a couple things that uh, you need to know when you're using this and how you set those barcodes. Let's first look at how we create those barcodes. I have a Word document right here. And if you look, I have it uh, an asterisk surrounding the number. And that's to let the, the scanner know that that is where the barcode starts and stops. So that's important. And the code I'm using uh, is code 39 is the font. So if I just change this into, let's say, a different font, you can see it's the exact same thing, just in a diff different font. And that's how you use um, barcodes. And code 39 should be free if you search it online. So the next thing from Darkroom, when we scan it, we're going to click F2. And that's uh, the shortcut key for find. You can also click the little magnifying glass up here. And it's important to note that I am searching not in the file name, but I'm looking at EXIF copyright. So for Canons, it's going to be the copyright information. For Nikons, it saves to 
the uh, comments, the user comments in the XF information. So you can see that these were added that if you are using, let's say, a uh, you had multiple shooters, one's on Nikon, one's on Canon, you can search both. So that's helpful, or you can just set it for either user comments or copyright. One more thing that we added that I, that I think is uh, pretty helpful, if you go to view and then show EXIF data, so that would be, let's say, the ID number. And this would be really helpful at, at, for visually to look at it and you can verify that you're looking at the correct information, as you can see right here. You can call the ID number. In this case, I called the order number. It's the same number that I have right there and the same number in the uh, barcode scanner. So you can visually inspect to make sure everything is accurate and that you didn't mistype anything. Another small thing to know is you can scan it with the barcode scanner, but if you don't have one of these, these are cheap enough on Amazon for like maybe 20 bucks. But if you don't have one, you can just type in the last few digits in this case three two four two enter and you can see it selected that image of that kid which is once again me but you can see how it works so I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing this it is the hardware once again is n tagged by flography and this is a new option within darkroom core and pro and you will want to be on version 9.3.26.82 or newer. And you can see right here, there's a uh, release notes for this specific option. And then we'll also add this video to the new features. Always a great uh, place to look to see where you are and what new features have been added in darkroomsupport.com. And then click on uh, either Darkroom Core or Pro and then release notes to see where you are and where you should be. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, let you know here's some other videos you might like most importantly thanks for being a customer i'll see you next time